Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Arcrise Fantasia. And if you miss a day, you miss a lot. Uh, last time we found out that Ignacy is actually working together with Hosea, that Elf killed Vice, yeah, like, seriously, talk about fratricide, uh, Riffia is part of the Divine Race, and she ended up sacrificing, well, not really sacrificing herself, but putting herself in harm's way in order to save Lark. So now, Sima told us to head on over to Zeitfeld Holy Tower in order to save Riffia. So that's where we're headed to. We didn't go here during the Rogress hunts, uh, but I did say that, you know, we will be back, so, you know, we'll be able to get all the various treasures and stuff that we could have gotten before, but we're going to go ahead and get them now. Let's see what this skit has to say. Oh, why? I mean, this is, you know, the way to help her. That's what Sima told us to do. Oh, that's true. We can't exactly just leave her alone by herself in the middle of the desert. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? She kind of, um, put herself in harm's way for your benefit. Yeah. Um, how about the fact that he's a hologram? How about the fact that he's, like, creepy as shit? How about the fact that he said earlier that Imaginal's Law only is there to help the Divine Race, but you guys were too stupid to realize it? I don't know what it is about JRPG heroes just being, like, really freaking dumb. But then again, I mean, if they were smart, there'd be no story. Them being stupid is half the story, because nothing else would happen. Oh. Wow, this place looks really advanced. Huh. Pretty cool, too. I like it. This place is huge. It looks like it goes all the way up into space on the outside. Oh, come on. It's not that big. It's huge to us. How the heck could anyone build something like this? Well, they say a long time ago, these kinds of buildings were very common. Yeah, they were everywhere. If that's true, I bet you couldn't even see the sky at all back then. I bet you're right. Well, you could still see it, but things were pretty cramped. If you're familiar with this, they must be from the Era of Laws, huh? I'm actually interested in this kind of stuff. You like ruins like this, Serge? The Era of Laws is very interesting. You know I am an intellectual. Oh, please! Riffy is in trouble! Can you spare us your small talk for now? If you insist, let's see if we can find some clues. You know, Serge wasn't doing anything bad. He was just talking about the era of loss, and then Cecile has to go and be a bitch about it. Like, what's your problem? This could be messy. And we get new battle music here. I love it. And Rastin at level 41 learned Frostfang, so let's go ahead and show that off. And kill these guys. The Great Slimes have about 2,000 HP. They're weak to fire. And the Sylphids have roughly 3,000 HP, and they are weak to earth. You can also steal a pretty decent, wow, accessory from the Sylphids if you want to. But at this point, you really don't need to. Oh, if I do do it, I'll do it off screen. Remember what I said about the difficulty level getting ramped up? Like, this is just a regular battle. Like, holy crap. What the hell was all that? Like, Lark's like near death now. This place is insane. We have little leeway for mercy. Ooh. Yeah, let me uh, switch weapons and heal up. Okay, I got that taken care of. I just gave another weapon. I, uh, I believe I equipped the Chaser on uh, Leslie since I'm done with the Man Eater. Let's see what we got down here. Get in the freaking chest. I was like standing there waiting for Lark, and yeah, I'm being an idiot. Okay, that's not half bad. Yeah, this place is no joke. You need to heal after every single battle. It's just insane with all these AoE magic spells and everything else going after you. I mean, like, the difficulty level is just in through the roof. <sighs> What's wrong, Leslie? Uh, nothing. Thinking about the director? Huh? Sorry, I should have planned the ceasefire out a little better. Don't be silly, Lark. It's not your fault. Shelly was killed by Ignacy and Adele. Leslie. Don't look at me like that. Unless you want me to fall for you. What? <laughs> Just joking. Let's do what we can to help Riffia now. Oh, yeah, you're right. 
Yeah, Shelly died too. That's pretty sad. I mean, I feel bad for Leslie. Oh, here we have some new enemies. Let's see. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. The Living Arms. You know what? Let's use, uh, let's see what you got. Sonic Rage. Oh no, that's one target use. There's a Crescent Edge. Uh, hit that both, and... Like, you don't want to fool around. If you need to use 2XL Axe here, use it. If you need to use Magic, use it. These guys are ridiculous. Like, I have gotten game overs here. It's that bad. These Living Arms have about 3,000 HP. And they don't have any weaknesses to speak of. Uh, yeah, just attack. Hopefully now this is when we should be able to take them out. Magical Bane would be very useful and helpful in this area um, if you do want to equip that, but I'm working on weapons, so I can't really do that. That guy's an optional boss. We'll take care of him later. I don't want to deal with him right now. Huh. What's going on here? What's all this? Oh, yeah. Oh. How convenient! Okay, let's take it. Uh, I want to go to the control room. We'll explore the rest of this place later, but for right now, we need to get Riffia back. We need to help her out. What's going on here? Little sparkly things? I'll check it out, sure. What's this? What is it, Rastin? Huh? Is this a Rogress code? A Rogress code? What's that kind of thing doing in a place like this? Let me see. What on? What? Why this serious look? This isn't a Rogress code. This is code manipulation data for making a Rogress. Making a Rogress? What? There's data here on experiments to convert humans into Rogress. Wait, what? So the Rogress used to be human? Even Sima? Judging by this, yes. That's impossible. Maybe. But we should probably hope it's true. What do you mean? A lot of the experiments done here are about analyzing and converting codes. If that's true, then we might be able to save Rivia. Aha! Uh -huh. I get it! Wait! It says this machine is a code dive type. That means... Right. This can analyze and convert codes by encoding a person's consciousness, then inserting that into a body to be analyzed. So we encode our consciousness and then dive into Riffia's? Can we even do that? We should be able to. But if we all enter Riffia's consciousness... We need someone to control the device. I'll stay here and handle that. Okay, thanks. Let's give it a try. Be careful in there. Her code's been overwritten, so her consciousness is extremely unstable. What the? The Dragon Gem is glowing! Where are we? Well, we should be inside Riffia's consciousness. This looks like Lascard, though. Huh? The Lascard Skywalk, where the Divine Race currently sleeps. This has to be it. I know. I came down to the surface from here. If Rivi is in the Divine Race, I guess it makes sense she has memories of it too. Well, we'll find out the answer when we wake her up. Let's see if we can find the overwritten code. Well, now that we've dived into Rivia's consciousness, are we going to get really crude sexual jokes like we did in Artinelico? I don't know about that series. I don't really like it. Maybe it's because I'm not exactly the target audience, but I don't know, like to me the gameplay is just boring. So like that that's my big thing about RPGs. Most of the time I'm not really the target audience for most of the JRPG storylines, but I can deal with it because I like the gameplay, I like the story for the most part, but that game, like it has literally put me to sleep as I'm playing it. I would be sitting in a chair in one of those long-winded cutscenes where they're talking about panties or God knows what else, and I will just fall asleep. It's just that boring to me. What do you guys think about that series? Oh, hey there. Whoa. Huh? What? Why? Because you're both encoded now. Of course you can't touch each other. It's like she doesn't even notice us. Who are you? Huh? She can see Lark? 
Why? You look like someone I really care about. I can't remember his name, but he's a mercenary. Why? Does she have selective amnesia too? What's going on? She okay? And who are these people? The lullaby put her to sleep. You'll never be able to see her again. Ever. Are you sure you want to do this? If you become a rogress and remove all the ozone pollution, you'll never be human again. You may lose all your memories forever. But for us to live on Fulheim again, one of us must become Rogress. If that's the case, then I, Sima the Liberator of the Noir 12, should be the one to do it. Oh, Arno. Seal, please take care of Rifia. She's our only daughter. Nelivar Seal? No, that's something else. Kinda odd that they would name the mother that, though. What was that all about? It looked like Riffia's mom and dad. Is that part of Riffia's memory too? Something seems out of place. Yeah, weren't they talking about Sima? You think they're discussing the Rogress Sima? What's going on here? Uh, I don't know, but I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that Riffia's father is actually Sima. For whatever reason, way back when they had to, uh turn people into Rogress in order to let everybody survive because of the Hozone or something. I guess because the Rogress turned the Hozone into Ray and they needed less Hozone so that the Zavine race could survive. Rivia. Are you my regret? Regret? What are you talking about? I'm here because you won't wake up. Right. I chose not to wake up. I thought this world consisted only of the Divine Race. I believed that saving the Divine Race was the same as saving everybody. But then I learned of the Common Race. They didn't fit my definition. And I didn't realize that. But you don't think the Common Race should all just die, do you? It's all my fault. I led the Common Race mercenary to his destruction. I cannot go back to him now. No, wait! Poor Riffia. Oh, wait, what's going on now? Hardell, Sima the Liberator, have you said your goodbyes to your family? Yes. We've already completed the code conversion on three of them. Of those three, Mashgar the Solitary and Kudoan the Witful have gone out of control due to a failure in the code conversion process. Do you still want to do this? Yes, so we can take back our land. If I become a Rogress, I can convert the Hozone into Ray. Not to mention, this is what Isa has chosen for me. Isa. I know. But since the Twelve found the Singing Stone, we have vowed to always worship the god Isa. If we didn't, we'd simply be siding with Meridian calling Isa a false god. Okay. I won't say anything else. May your deeds bring you great honor. Is that really one of Riffia's memories? Something's not right. It seems to me like it's Sima's memory more than Riffia's. Didn't the girl talking to Sima look like Sora? Yeah, I thought so too. She looks too much like her to be a coincidence. So, Sora is the person who is responsible for turning people into Rogress? And she's immortal or something? What's this? A memory of the forest? This place. It's where Riffia and I first met. Lark? Riffia, you remember me. Why are you here? After Ignacy hit me with his code conversion, I was able to forget about you and sleep here forever. What are you talking about? It was you. You got me into this. You're the one who said I was a child of Isa. I'm sorry, but I don't know how to take responsibility for all of this. The law I believed in, Imaginal's law, exists to eliminate the common race. Real's law will crystallize the world. You can't choose either of them. I won't then. Besides, who said I had to choose one or the other anyway? But I... 
I can't let the divine race die out. Every time I got close to you, I saw a vision of Sima, my father. If that was true, my father turned himself into a Rogress to make a world for the divine race. I don't want either race to die. How? If Imaginal's law and Real's law destroy the common race, then I'll make a new law. I don't need Isa. I'll put the future of the people back in the hands of the people. Lark. We can make this world beautiful. We can do that. Shouldn't that be our responsibility? Can we really make a world? Without the help of the gods? I don't know. But instead of gods, there's us. This began with us. Besides, I like a girl who tries to finish what she starts. If you really care for me, you'll help me do what we need to. We'll be together. <gasps> Lark, I... you... We didn't want to save only the Divine Race. We wanted to save all the people. That was true then, and it's still true now. Riffia, my most beloved daughter, please do whatever it takes to save Fulheim from its destiny of destruction and peril. Riffia! We were so worried about you! Welcome back, Riffia. I was worried about you too, believe it or not. Thank you. You really know how to make me worry, don't you? I was watching you from the console here. I'm glad you all made it out alive. You were watching us? Oh, don't be embarrassed. We saw the whole thing firsthand, you know. Hmm, what was it? The if you like me part or something? Shut up. I still can't believe that the Rogress were originally humans. I know there's research being done about changing humans into fell dragons, but still. And Riffia's father being Sima. Is it just me, or does something not add up there? It must have been around the time of the dragon descent 1,000 years ago. But weren't you sleeping from the lullaby just like Cecile? Possibly. My memory's pretty vague, so I'm not sure. So what now? We can't go to see Jose anymore. And even if we could... Is there a way to render Hozone ineffective without removing it from the world? Nah. If that was possible, you'd think the Divine Race would have tried to accomplish it. No. It's because the Divine Race have no reason to keep Hozone around in the first place. If Issa accepts Imaginal's Law, the Hozone will be all gone anyway. So basically, nobody's even looked into this possibility yet. Rastin, this is a code conversion lab, right? Is there anything about converting the Hozone's code? I'll take a look. Hmm. There is, actually. And it looks like it was recently accessed by someone, too. You'd need a Divine Race ID to get to this stuff. Who would look that up? Dinos, maybe? No. It's someone named Carlisle. Carlisle? That's the name of the woman Sir Vice was talking about. He mentioned her when Lark told him about putting people's fates back in their own hands. I don't think this is just a coincidence. So, we just need to find out where this Carlisle girl is, then. I'll make a copy of this report. Let's go back to the lightship now. Okay. Okay, and we'll head on back there, loot this place of treasure, fight the mini-boss, and see what happened to Nico. Next time, let's play Ark Rise Fantasia. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.